Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Does Stuff. Today I want to show you how to change the oil on a 2021 F-150 with the 2.7 liter twin turbo. Now this process will be very similar, almost identical if you have a 2015 through 2020 truck. So it works for 2015 all the way through 2021 for the 2.7 liter turbocharged engine. Now the first thing you want to do is get your supplies. For this change, we're going to use 5W30 Motorcraft. That's what they recommend. It's a synthetic blend. We need six quarts of this. And if you forget what kind of oil you need, it says directly on your oil fill cap under the hood, as well as in your manual, which is either in your glove box or for the new trucks, you have to download it. Crazy. Next, you'll need a oil filter. If you look at the manual for this particular truck, it says a FL2062. And what I have here I got from the dealer is the FL2062-A. The only difference between the dash A and the one not having that dash A is the filter has plastic. So the one without an A has plastic ends on the top and the bottom. And this is the newer version that they have, which doesn't include that. I did a comparison of both of them. They're identical. The only kind of difference is besides the plastic is in, in the inside, it looks like it's a little bit stronger plastic in there. So there's your oil filter you need. Black gloves, keep your hands clean. Funnel, rag. Then to get your oil filter off, you'll need a ratchet. You can use a wrench or pliers as well. But I like to use ratchet and a one and one sixteenth socket. That's to get your oil filter cover off. And then for our little air dampener underneath, you need an eight millimeter socket. Step one, go drive your truck. Get it warmed up to operating temperature. Drive it for five, 10 minutes. And then you're good to go. Come back and park it on a flat level surface. And then let it sit for at least 15 minutes to let all that oil drain down into the oil pan. After that, pop your hood. The way to do that is right by your foot in the driver's side. You'll see a little lever. Pull that. It pops your hood. And then underneath, reach your fingers. And there's a lever. Pull that to unlock it and pop it up. Now my truck right now, to know when to do this, my truck has about 6,000 miles and I wanted to change it at that point in time. On my oil fill gauge, or it, not fill, but it keeps track of when you should change your oil. It's at like 38%. So it's not way far down there, but I'm so used to changing oil in other vehicles of every 3,000 miles. I think you could go between like seven to 10,000 miles before your oil change, but I wanted to keep it at six for this first one. I drove my truck around, it's warmed up, hood popped open. Now, first thing we got to do is go under and get take off that air dam. Here's that air dam I'm talking about. What I've noticed on the 2021 F-150, it's a little bit smaller than on the 2017s. I can't tell you anything about the 15s or the 16s or the 19s or the 20s, but I can tell on this, it's a little bit smaller. We have four little bolts we got to undo. One right here, under here, here, and on the other side. So let's get to it. I've already loosened them. There you have it, got that off, move it to the back. It's always good to have a nice piece of cardboard to slide in and out, but I'm sure a lot of you don't have a dirt driveway either, so you could use a creeper. But I got this so I don't get all full of dirt. This gives us access to our oil drain plug, which is the yellow drain plug right here. What we're going to do is go get our oil pan, put it right here, and just go lefty-loosey and drain the oil. I totally forgot to talk about, you need a pan, something to drain the oil in. Last thing that you need. This is just an old pan that I have. Get it right under where the oil drain plug is. And you're going to get the oil. It comes out really fast. So when you do this, turn it and just pull it out a little bit at a time and let it start flowing. So if you just pull it out, it'll shoot out. <laughs> 
That was weird. I had, I had to get at a different angle to get my fingers on there. They're so cold right now. But I popped it off. We'll get this to drain. And what I'll do is I'll go up top and I will take off the oil fill cap just to create a nice vacuum to suck out all the oil. And if you saw that, if you just pulled that off, it would have been dousing all over my sway bar. And I didn't even put my black gloves on too. Here's your oil fill cap right here. So it will turn to the lefty Lucy. And as you can see, 5W30, that's the type of oil I need. That's how you check your oil. That's your dipstick. That we will talk about here in a little bit. So you're going to release that. And now what we're going to do next is put our new oil filter in, which is right under there. This is what I was talking about, the difference in the oil filters, where you have the Dash A, this one, and the non-Dash A, FL2062, FL2062-A. Everything else is identical. You got that cap, and from the inside, the plastic gridding is more robust. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put new O-rings on here. They come with your oil filter that you buy. So we're gonna take these old ones off, and put our new ones on. And I kept everything open so everything's flowing out and dripping out. I wanna make sure all that old oil is out of there. Again, another tool I forgot to mention in the beginning. Just a pick like this. You can get a pack of them at Harbor Freight for like dirt cheap. These come in handy to get this little O-ring off. But the ones down at the bottom are pretty easy. Just stick it under, slide it right off. Garbage. Second one. And they're pink and they have this paint and the stuff just comes off on there. This little bugger is a little bit harder. Got that off. Wipe my hands off. Then I like to wipe all this pink stuff off as well. The little o-ring fell down here now i gotta fish it out fished out that little guy now your best bet to get this thing on is have it be warm maybe put a little bit of oil on your fingers just so it's slippery it's usually kind of a bear voila got it on take your oil filter In, on. Now we're gonna put this back in. I kinda had to push down on this right here to just get to click in to spot and then righty tighty lefty loosey. So turn to the right. And just go till it's seated. What does it say on here? 24 inch pounds to tighten it. We're good up here. Now let's go underneath. And what we're gonna do is put our drain plug on and put our air damper back on. Our oil's all done draining. Take our drain plug, I cleaned it off. Insert in, turn to the right. And go all the way till it clicks and it stops. It has the stoppers right here, top, it's in there, we're good to go. Now let's put the, that air damper back on. Move that without spilling it all over the place.
Take your cap off of your oil filler and put your funnel in. And we're gonna put in five and a half quarts right now. It calls for six, but I always like to put in a little bit less and drive it around and then check it just to make sure that I'm not going over. You never ever want to overfill with oil whenever you're doing an oil change on anything. I bought all this at Ford at the dealer. So that's why I have the individual quarts. If you go to Walmart, you can get them for a little bit cheaper. For the six quarts and the oil filter, it costed $55 at the dealership. And if you go to Walmart, you can get these in five quart bottles, which makes it really easy. Buy the five quart and then one of these and you're good to go. So I'll zip through this and we'll get the cap back on. Now that you got your oil all filled up, five and a half quarts, drive your truck around for a little bit, get it warmed up, let it sit for 15 minutes, and go in and take your dipstick, pull it out, wipe it clean, stick it back all the way in seated, and then check to see to make sure that your oil level is within those hatch marks. You do not want it up and over. Otherwise, I'll have to drain out some oil. Then final step, go inside your cab and reset your oil change interval on your computer right on your dash. Here's how to do the reset on the oil. Push your menu. Go down to truck info. Engine information. Oil life. Hold OK to reset oil life. 100%, you're good to go. That's how to change oil on a 2.7 liter F-150, the 2021. Again, like I said, this works with the 2015 through the 2020 as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. If you like more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.